What's going on guys? I'm Mark Linsang from Techno Buffalo, and yesterday was a day that Apple will never forget. It introduced two versions of the iPhone 6, one with a 4.7 inch display and one with a 5.5 inch screen. They also introduced Apple Watch and a new mobile payment system called Apple Pay. Now after the event, Apple released a golden master of iOS 8 to developers a week before its September 17 launch, and we're here to see what it's all about. Probably one of the most noticeable differences right away in this Golden Master is that the passbook icon looks completely different. Now that Apple introduced Apple Pay to the world, you'll now be able to add your credit card through passbook. And if you happen to have the new iPhone 6 and or Apple Watch, you'll be able to securely pay via NFC, which is kind of a big deal to iOS users. Another minor change is that the clock icon is a bit bolder now and the second hand is much longer than before. Now if we head over to the settings app and go to wallpapers, there are a bunch of new still wallpapers included in iOS 8. And to be completely honest, I love every single one of them and I think it fits nicely with iOS 8 and matches the look of OS 10 Yosemite. Other than that, there's also a tweak iCloud backup icon and in terms of performance, everything seems to be running pretty smooth thus far. Definitely a lot better than previous version, which is expected for the GM release. I haven't had any third party apps crash at all after updating either, so all the issues we've had in a previous beta seems to be ironed out. Anyways, that's it for this quick video guys, we're really excited for iOS 8 to publicly launch next week, and we can't wait to try out iOS 8 on the new iPhone 6 once we have it in our office. If you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Linsanga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button down there.